Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, so today is the tenth war of the season, and uh, we're up against the ACM two. So for this war, I'm back to path four in section one. Uh, the first note is this Killmonger. Um, and honestly, I haven't done this uh, for a while because uh, I think last time I took path four was like uh, uh, two or three weeks ago. I don't really remember. Uh, but anyway. Uh, this fight is fairly easy with Omega Red, but uh, the downside is uh, it's pretty easy to get cornered like where I am right now. So I'm just trying to dodge his heavy. I mean, his heavy is kind of tricky to dodge. Sometimes I can fully evade it, and uh, sometimes I just got hit a couple times. But uh, uh, because of the power boost, I'm using my special 3 to finish off the fight right now. But uh, because he just threw that special 2, so he's not really taking damage from this special 3, but uh, after that, uh, the damage over time actually killed him. Uh, so next fight is going to be uh, rank 5 and the healers on note 19. Uh, I actually removed dexterity mastery for this fight because uh, I honestly I was a bit nervous and uh, this fight actually was uh, pretty bad for me. Uh, I got hit multiple times. I don't even know how many times I got hit. Uh, but luckily, this guy uh, doesn't have very, very high attack, so the damage was pretty limited. And I used the regen boost, and a bunch of debuffs he placed on me actually uh, healed me up a little bit from my uh, willpower. And now I'm getting uh, back to the pace, just uh, uh, heavy and parry, but uh, it's not guaranteeing to successfully parry this guy. Uh, because it's his uh, built-in ability but uh, luckily the fight is almost over and uh, i just got another armor brick on me so it's actually going to heal me up a little bit uh, so it's all good after this heavy the fight is over uh, so next two are going to be two mini boss fights uh, the first one is this blade on recovery mini note uh, this is a quick fight it's pretty boring uh, you can just skip it to the next one uh, the next one is going to be uh, is going to be quick against mojo on node 55 uh, so the fight is pretty interesting but uh, let's watch this fight first Okay, this fight is about to be over and the next two fights are gonna be quick against the Mojo and uh, Omega Red against the Black Widow Clairvoyant. Uh, those two fights are pretty interesting, you guys can take a look at it. Uh, so first one, uh, Mojo, uh, I think quick is definitely not the best counter for Mojo on this note because uh, it is Mojo's ability actually. Uh, he gains power by completing those promotes. Uh, those promotes are going to be randomly popped up during the fights every 7 seconds. And as you can see here, at some point, uh, I'm just going to complete uh, one or multiple promotes for him. And in this way, he's actually going to gain some power. And uh, he actually also going to DJ me a little bit. Uh, so for this one, the best bite is going to uh, be using vulnerability boost if you have to quick this note uh, otherwise I think ghost trinity might be a better option but uh, I'm not sure because I haven't tried it by myself and as you can see he has one buff of power I'm just trying to hit him a couple of times and uh, bait out a special one I got lucky because uh, those couple of hits I did on him were not critical hits 
otherwise the fight is going to be very messed up uh, so here I know I'm going to solve this fight because uh, I, I just can't be that unlucky to get him to another special one and uh, even if he will have another special one uh, it's not gonna be enough to kill me it's not enough to kill this fully boosted quick uh, so this fight was a little bit lucky and uh, still happy about soloing it and the uh, next one is this uh, that's me mini note uh, actually in this fight uh, this is fight this, this, this the fight is from uh, my alliance mate DJ so in this fight Omega Red is not going to hit her is not going to touch her not even one time so basically you just want to back up to the corner and uh, block the hits and uh, dodge all those heavies and the reason why I can do this is because uh, uh, Black Widow Claire won't actually going to apply three stacks of bleed uh, on Omega Red and it's going to trigger the death field and uh, he will just she will just sorry she she will just become very aggressive and uh, keeps attacking you and in this way stay staying close to her is going to build up a bunch of uh, spores as you can see uh, her health is actually going down fairly quickly and uh, another thing is uh, this fight also got lucky because uh, the heavy uh, didn't cast stun and uh, if she got the stun on you it's going to be uh, becoming a chain stun so the fight is going to be over after that uh, but uh, it takes practice to do this I mean it's definitely not easy uh, so it's a pretty amazing fight and uh, we actually won this war and uh, that's all for today's video hope you guys have a nice day i will see the next one take care